Yeah, welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovations. Today we are going to talk about plantains and bananas, how the multiplication goes. In fact, our previous videos talks a lot about it. Today we are on management. After you've sown the cuttings and then after sprouting and germination, there are certain agronomical practices that we need to take into consideration and they are the management practices. So, the major one that we cannot forget in plantain sucker multiplication is pruning. When doing plantain suckers or multiplying plantains, you need to take into consideration pruning in order to promote much more active growth. One may ask what are some of the uh, importance of pruning. Pruning simply means the removal of old branches or diseased branches from the uh, leaves of these uh, plantains that is pruning you can see that there are old uh, leaves some are diseased there are some fungal attacks some are also you can see that these are old very old leaves which are still hang, hanging on the plant and it happens that way it makes the uh, banana or plantain seedlings um, it inhibits their growth. Therefore, you just have to remove it. So this is how it is done in order to promote optimal growth and development. So you just get your knife and then you remove it. After removal of the whole thing, we shall come back again and show you how the uh, seedlings are growing. And you can see that in doing plantain sucker multiplication, it is very necessary to do pruning. So this is how it is done. Now, these leaves are still competing with the actual pseudo stem, what we have here. Once it is removed, it provides space, enhances air circulation, and then also um, reduces competition over nutrients and water. So, we are removing it. So, you just hold it firmly. You don't, if you don't take care, you are likely to also injure or endure the plant once you are doing the cutting you do it anyhow or remove it anyhow you are going to cause mechanical injury to the plant it is likely to affect its growth if you look at this leaf it is diseased so you just have to cut it off and then after the whole thing you remove them from the nursery field this is our post nursery field you can see that now it is looking quite healthy. After the whole thing, we will show you how the plants are growing. And you can see that indeed pruning is very necessary. So this is how the process is done. You can see that this one is also diseased. You get it out. So the whole stem look quite a little bit healthy yeah. now gotta cut some of these things have to remove this That this one is okay. This one is also dead and diseased, is affected by some banana. So it's working. We are removing all the old and diseased leaves promote optimum growth and development
So this is the whole process of pruning. After the whole pruning, um, we'll let you see how the plants continue to grow. So simply put, this is how pruning is done in plantain stock banana sucker multiplication. When doing the multiplication, you need to remove all the old and diseased um, leaves from the growing banana peepers so that it enhances optimum development and growth. Are failed. We are developing them one by one, one after the other. Therefore, all these old leaves is to be removed. Now you can see that the green leaves are the ones now growing. We leave it for about three days time. You see that in fact the whole plant has changed, meaning that pruning has also a great impact when it comes to planting to banana saka multiplication. So after removing the old and dead leaves, you have to also take your time from the beds so that they can serve or they can harbor all these can harbor diseases you try as much as possible to remove them from the whole nursery this is our post nursery in planting banana sucker so we have it here. You just have to dump it outside the bed or outside the field. Simply put, this is our pruning is done. We are going to prune all this, and after three days, you see that yes, um, pruning is an important thing in plantain sucker multiplication.